Here, a red-dyed heptane alnapple is released to a homogeneous sand above the water table in a glass tank. Heptane migrates downward and pulls on the capillary fringe where it moves laterally and where the pool is sufficiently thick, it moves downward. After the release stops, the Elnapple below the release point transitions to Elnapple residual as it drains and is replaced by air. This is a lighter red color. Continued lateral migration results in heptane entry into the wells along the edges of the flow cell. Later, the water table is lowered, mobilizing the pooled heptane and leaving Elnapple residual behind. In turn, when the water table is raised, some alnapple remains as water-occluded alnapple. This smearing of the alnapple source enhances dissolution into the groundwater. Overall, water saturation controls alnapple migration, with primarily downward migration under unsaturated conditions, followed by pooling and lateral migration on the capillary fringe. This sensitivity to water saturation can be further complicated by heterogeneity, impermeability, and entry pressure. Details of this process are explained in the Groundwater Project book, Flow and Distribution of Non-Aqueous Phase Liquids by Mumford, Cooper, and Linhard.